This is an update on the severe level three burn on my finger. Um, the one on the little one on the side, I've bandaged with a little bit of lavender oil, and this is petroleum jelly. I just smeared onto it. There's some paper fiber that's embedded in the matrix at the moment that has to be solvated out. So the scope or purpose of this video is to document the healing process, and there will be subsequent videos daily to document how the um, burn recovers over time. This is the petroleum jelly I've been using. I've just been dipping this in here and getting a little bit on the end of a Q-tip like that, smearing this into the wound. This is a skin protectant, petroleum jelly. As you can read on the front, it's a skin protectant. This is similar to Vaseline and it temporarily protects against minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. And so what it does is it provides an oily barrier to keep the moisture and neutrophil intrusion and other repair mechanisms uh, safe from the environment. It's kind of like a liquid bandage in the sense that it can go around conformal, non-linear, uh, three-dimensional curved shapes like the web between my finger. If you look carefully at my finger, the burn extends down between the finger and the web area. So I'm able to smear the petroleum jelly and because my skin's around 80 Fahrenheit, it starts to liquefy and become a little runny. So I manipulate it with that Q-tip uh, to keep it smearing around and also go like this and move my fingers around like that. And you can, can hear it, it, the goo in there. So I'm trying to keep it gooey and hydrated. Here's two other products that I've been using um, to smear into the wound. Uh, antibiotic cream which contains different um, antibiotic substances. So neomycin sulfate, three milligrams of the base, polymoxin B sulfate, 10,000 units, and proxamine hydrochloride, 10 milligrams. This other product, Nutribiotic, is incredibly complicated, but it's more natural. That contains olive fruit oil, beeswax, castor oil, seed oil, water, L-lysine, monohydride, sterax, benzoyl, gum extract, citrus parietal, grapefruit extract, citradiol, echinacea purpurea extract, can candidias, golden seal extract, leaf extract, propolis cera, calendula, flower extract, vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin D3, um, tea tree oil, leaf oil, um, how'd you put leaf oil, honey, and ascorbic acid or vitamin C. Additionally, I've been cutting up um, tissues, these puffs, bath tissues, and using small strips of this paper um, as a bandage matrix um, in addition to the commercial fabric band-aid that you see on my finger.